write down the coordinates of p prime the image of p on g let's go ahead and take a look and see what is happening so in the diagram the graphs of f of x is equals to log of x base a and g are drawn graph g is the reflection of f in the line y is equals to x we need to make sense of that the graph of g is the reflection of f in the line y is equals to x so f of x is equals to log of x base a and then g it's a reflection of f in the line y is equals to x so for g we have x being equals to log of y base a so g is the inverse of f we need to deduce that first before we can answer the other questions graph f passes through the point p of coordinates 2 and 4 and we can clearly see that and then q is the x intercept of f and r is the y intercept of g all right let's go ahead and do 5.1 so 5.1 write down the coordinates of p prime the image of p on g so what an universe does is that instead of having coordinates we know that for p we have x y so because g is the inverse of f for p prime we're gonna have y x right so what is p p has coordinates 4 and 2 and then for p prime we're gonna have coordinates 2 and 4 that's what an inverse does to an equation there we go that is 5.1 let's take a look at 5.2 5.2 says that let's show that a is equals to 2 we have f of x being equals to log of x base a we want to show that x is equals to 2. how can we do that you can substitute any point on f right uh, we have p of coordinates 4 and 2 so let's substitute p in substituting p the y value is 2 and the x value is 4 and then we have a as our base if we apply a log law we're going to have a to the power 2 being equals to 4. we can always do that when we have log and then a to the power 2 will be equals to 2 to the power 2 we drop the exponents a is equals to 2. so there we go we have showed fully well that a is equals to 2. 5.3 on the other hand let's take a look at 5.3 write down the equation of g in the form y is equals to like i've said g is the inverse of f of x so f of x is equals to now that we are, we know that a is equals to 2 we're going to have x and then the base is 2 so in order to find g of x we need to swap x and y and solve for y so the first step swap x and y so in place of y we put x and then in place of x we put y and then a is 2 i'm forgetting and then now it's just a matter of solving for y obviously the 2 is gonna carry the x we're gonna have y being equals to 2 to the power x and there we go we have the equation of g of x that is 5.3 5.4 quite an interesting equation uh let's take a look t is a point on f in the first quadrant right um where tr is parallel to the x-axis t is somewhere here t is somewhere there let me just join the two points that is where t is located because we need tr to be parallel to the x-axis so t is somewhere here and then let's hear the stories calculate the area of triangle r t p we want the area of triangle r t p p the inverse right or p prime the one we get when we reflect p on y is equals to x right so let's see how we can possibly calculate that area uh, let's zoom in here so t if it is parallel to the x-axis if t r is parallel to the x-axis uh, then we know fully well that r and t they have the same y value but what is the y value of r we know that r is the y intercept of g so g of x is equals to q to the power x 
uh, we are saying that r is the y-intercept of of g so y-intercept will let x be equals to zero t to the power zero is one so the y coordinate of r is one and the x coordinate is zero so here for r we have let me just make my pen a bit lighter we have zero for the x value and one for the y value and then now let's count to t uh, when we come to t the y value is the same we still have one that is our y value because tr is parallel to the y axis what we don't have is the x value of t but we can calculate it because it lies on f of x let's go ahead and do that f of x is equal to log of x base 2 we know that the y value is 1 so let's go ahead and determine uh, the value of x at t so log of x base 2 2 carries 1 so 2 to the power 1 is equal to x so that right the x value at t is 2 we have 2 as for the x value at t now let's go back to our point p prime or yeah p prime we have coordinates 2 and 4 we came up with that in 5.1 so the x value is 2 so it is somewhere it lies on g so it is somewhere here right and then the x value is 2 and the y value is 4 right so let's join these three points so that we can calculate the area There we go we have joined the the three points obviously here we're gonna have an angle of 90 degrees tr is parallel to the x-axis and tp uh, we have t here and here we have p and the tp will be parallel to the y-axis because they share the same x value t and p so in order to calculate the area of this triangle RTP, we're gonna have a half base multiplied by the height. Base is TR, right? T and R, they share the same Y value. So in order to find that length, we can just subtract or find the difference between the X values, right? The X value at T is two, the X value at R is zero. So we have two as our base. And now our height, T and P, they share, they share the same X value. So in order to find the distance from T to P, we just subtract the Y values, which is 4 minus 1. So that is 3. So 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. Multiplying that by half is 3. So we have 3 units squared. 